Hey guys, this is Apple Gamer 247. I'm here to do an app review today of Air Mouse Pro for the iPod Touch and iPhone. This app was sent to me of Air Mouse Software. They were nice enough to send me a promo code for the app, but I unfortunately don't have any to give away. So I'm sorry about that. But anyways, this is a $2.99 app in the App Store that basically takes your iPod Touch or iPhone and turns it into a wireless mouse for your Mac or your PC. Now I will have a link in the description for Air Mouse Server. What that is, it's just a server that lets Air Mouse Pro connect to your Mac or your PC. So whatever you have, this will work. But it does not run on Linux. I just want to get that out there. So I'm going to start the app up. Now the icon for the app is um, this little mouse in like a um, goldish um, neon background. So this is the main loading screen. Okay, so this is the main pad that you get. And um this is the main pad obviously you get your keyboard here and if you're on the Mac you get your um, command key you get your command key up here you get your um, all your keys your numbers if you go up here you can um, change the pad style so this is like a typical um, scroll mouse and here are your um, like on um, squeezy buttons on um, like a money mouse and here is your right click your left click and if you press this button again you get the pad now if you turn it this way um you get like a trackpad style so this would be your mouse this would this would be um your left click right click this would be like your up and down arrows so what i'm gonna do now guys is that i'm gonna switch over to my um screencast and I will show you how this actually works. Now, I won't do a picture in picture. I will just um, move this around and you guys will just see it happen on the screen. And I will put little um, notes on the bottom while I'm doing the screencast that shows what um, letters I type and what buttons I press on the mouse. So see. Alright guys, I'm back with the screencast. So here's my uh, main monitor for my iMac. As you can see, um, this, is, this is my, um, I'm using my finger control, this one on the iPod Touch. Now, if you could tell it's on my mouse because my mouse um, sort of makes a, a noise like that, you can probably hear it moving on the mouse pad. But um, since it's very quiet and that's going pretty fast, um, it, it's the iPod. So I'm going to show you the main, um, the main stuff you can do. If you hit the up arrow or down arrow, it makes all your windows disappear. Um, let me just open something up. Open Safari. And I'm gonna um, show you what that does. So it hides all your windows, and do the same on here. So you want, if I wanted to scroll down, use it. It also um, makes note of Apple's um, multi-touch gestures, as you can see on the MacBook. So if you use two fingers and swipe down, you're swiping down on the page. So if I was go back in the Safari and do a swipe up. And sometimes the swipe up doesn't work. That's what one feature I have. Some of the gestures don't work. So if you do three gestures, it goes down, up, and down. Um, as you can see, this is your right click. So if I wanted to click on um, something about the new iPod Nano, click that, goes to the next page. And then you can read through your text here. And if I wanted to right click, I'm gonna, I'm gonna move my mouse back over. I want to right click. And you get all your right click options as you, you know, really do. So like I was saying before, um, you have your um, key, you have your keyboard. So if I wanted to go up to my um, address window and backspace it all. And I want to go to uh, YouTube. And I want to go to my channel so here we are at my channel once it loads here it is um so here we are at my channel and um as you notice you can go down and up um as you can see i'm scrolling through my videos and i'm uh, just bring it into safari so i'm currently scrolling down and up on the page now um if i wanted to quit the app completely as you guys know, it has the command key, so I will hit the, I will push the command key on it, and then hit Q. 
then as you can see it goes away so then I'm gonna open it back up and do it the same way so one thing I don't like is that it doesn't when you're in the um, trackpad mode it doesn't have a keyboard so you can't really type and use the trackpad but um so you are limited when you want to type you gotta um, sort of use the um, um, portrait mode so that's basically the only problem I have with it and so yeah guys I hope you guys enjoy it and I will see you guys later